Hi guys, in celebration of Marcello's change.org petition, let me show you where his is. Marcello's petition is at 1,164 signatures. And it says, let's get to 1,500. At 1,500 signatures, this petition is more likely to get picked up by local news. Okay, so in celebration of Marcello's petition, I want to show you somebody else's petition because it's not all just about Marcello. He is not the only one that is, is wrongfully convicted. So let's look at Andrew Blount's change.org petition. Andrew Blount, I'm sorry, Andrew Blount wrongfully imprisoned since 1996 in Kent County, Michigan. He has 828 signatures and let's get to a thousand. So y'all let's get them to a thousand and beyond. Charity Blount started this petition to Governor Gretchen Whitmore and 19 others. We are asking for a thorough review in Andrew Blount's case due to extenuating circumstances. Andrew Blount, inmate number 255961, was wrongfully convicted and found guilty of robbery slash murder by an all-white jury in Grand Rapids, Michigan, 25 years ago in 1996. He was sentenced to life without parole. He has always maintained his innocence in the crime and sought justice on behalf of both himself and the victim. No DNA, gunshot residue, fingerprints, or footprint analysis places Andrew Blount at the scene of the crime. No eyewitnesses actually say they saw him rob or shoot anyone. Witness statements from those seeking a reward or lenience for parole violations led to the arrest and conviction. However, the weapon presented at the trial belonged to one of the prosecution's star witnesses who told jurors that the weapon was never in Mr. Blount's possession because he'd given it to his cousin who was also a witness for the state seeking amnesty on unrelated felony charges. Wow. Not one of Mr. Blount's alibi witnesses were thoroughly investigated. He believes this lack of investigation is because the victim in the case was also white. The lack of funds and genuine support has prevented him from surmounting the truth in his case. Recently, we found new information in regards to one of the lead detectives in Andrew's case, Detective Mark Armstrong. Mr. Armstrong was fired from the Wyoming Police Department in 2011 for his racially charged slurs towards African Americans. Here is an article M Live wrote on Detective Armstrong after he was arrested by the Holland, Michigan Police Department. All of Mark Armstrong's cases should be revisited and reviewed. Please help Andrew Blount fight for his freedom. Go online and FOIA docket number nine six dash one one three five nine dash fc court of appeals number two zero three eight seven two to see the case for yourself help andrew get justice see what an unjust and broken system can do when you don't have the funds or knowledge to fight for yourself wrongfully convicted for 25 years without justice 25 years of incarceration, 25 years of being ignored by the courts, 25 years of precious life wasted away for a crime he did not do. There is his story and there is history. We know that his story can't and won't be 
known unless they are willing to look at the history of corruption in the system. To do this, we must all find the strength to support the wrongfully convicted and help fight to free Andrew Blount. We welcome any and all help in pursuing justice. Let's get Andrew Blount back into the courts and let the evidence speak. And here's the ways to get in touch here. Okay, so I have already signed this petition and I signed it because it's compelling that there, there's holes in this case. And to just see that they're saying that the weapon wasn't even his. And then the person that has actually something to gain from it. Like, how do you take the testimony of somebody that is not impartial? They have a lot to gain from it. So I signed it. And I hope that after 25 years that they can get back into court and get Andrew Blount's case reviewed and actually, well, really just exonerated. All right, guys. And I am out. It's late at night. Actually, it's late in the morning. <laughs> it's 101 a.m. So thank you, guys. Hiss your girl, Cadillac. It's your girl, Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs>